Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a few of my recipes that I would like to share with you. The first one that we're going to start out with is a tater tot casserole. I will have the recipe ingredients listed down below for you in the description box. You really don't need a whole lot of ingredients for this recipe. And then the first thing that I'm going to start out doing is fixing my hamburger meat. I'm going to brown that really good. Um, this is about a three pound pack of hamburger meat and I used about half of it. It really just depends on how big of a family that you have. And then I'm going to add some pepper, some salt, and then I'm going to add seasoning salt to this. You can add just about whatever seasonings that you really want. Some people add onions and peppers and you can also do that with this recipe. Now once that I have my hamburger meat rinsed really well, I'm going to take it back over to the stove and I'm going to end up adding my cream of mushroom, my cream of chicken, and then I'm going to add my cheese and I'm going to mix that up really, really good. And if you like, you can go ahead and add some more salt and pepper because sometimes when you rinse your hamburger meat off, it kind of rinses your seasoning off a little bit. So you might want to add a little bit extra just in case. Okay, now that everything is mixed up really well, I'm going to put this in a baking dish and then I'm going to add my tater tots. And then I'm going to end up turning the oven on 350 and I will cook this until my potatoes are pretty golden brown. I like a crispy tater tot casserole. When I fix this casserole, usually I will fix corn to go with it. It seems like corn is like one of the best vegetables that goes with this casserole. Now once my tater tot casserole is a pretty golden brown, I will add a layer of cheese on top of this and then I'll stick it back in the oven and let it get a little bit golden brown.
I will also be sharing a chicken buffalo dip with you. You do not need a lot of ingredients for this recipe either. On this recipe, I start out by fixing my chicken first. I put this on low for a few hours because it seems like with this recipe, the more tender your chicken is, the better your buffalo dip will turn out. Now that your chicken is cooked, you're just going to shred that up really, really good. And then you're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And then you're going to let that cook on low for about maybe an hour or so. You're going to want to stir this every now and then. I generally eat this with tortilla chips, but you can also use any kind of taco shell. And you can also add different things to this. You can put lettuce, onions, peppers. There's not really much that you can do to go wrong with this. The last recipe that I'm going to share with you is cream cheese danishes and these are really simple. You can add different kind of um, pie filling to these. We usually just eat these with cream cheese. You can add apple, strawberry, blueberry, just whatever you like. You can be very creative with these. And once again, this is not a perfect recipe. As you can see, I'm just unrolling uh, one can of the croissant rolls to go on the bottom layer. And then I'm going to mix up my cream cheese and my sugar and then my vanilla flavoring. And I'm going to add that to the top of this. And then I'm going to add one more can of croissants to the top. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then I'm going to stick these in the oven until they're golden brown.
You can also drizzle chocolate syrup on these, strawberry, caramel, it just depends on what you like. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.